Mike and I have been together 24 years, man. 24 <laughs> long. <laughs> Y'all clapping, I ain't saying I'm enjoying it. I just, <laughs> no, I'm just serious, man. Uh -oh. <laughs> now, because here's the thing when you with somebody for a long period of time, you start to realize the little things they do that start to get on your nerves. You know what I mean? Like, my, you know what my wife does that gets on my nerves? Uh, talk. No, uh, no, no. But here's the, my wife is English, so she got that accent, you know, British accent. And the English accent is sexy as hell uh, 24 years ago. But. <laughs> But now it's sort of lost its luster. Cause, cause everything she says now has a condescension to it. Everything she says make me feel like I'm only American in the episode of Downton Abbey or something. Cause, cause everything she says ends in, e yes, and I can't escape it. Even when she sleeps, it's, and to clarify, my wife is black. Uh, you, you, you got to say that when black women pray, because my wife's English, you get that. Mm, mm -hmm. Which I ain't never understood, because it's 2019 and people still will come, yo, your wife is black, but she's English. I'm like, yes, they have us over there too, you know what I mean? But she's actually British by way of Jamaica. Her parents are Jamaican. She's like Jamaican English, you know what I mean? But it's weird because she got two accents, so arguing with her is like arguing with a schizophrenic. Cause, so she goes back and forth. No, she, you damn listen to me, you never pay attention. I really get sick and tired. The things you're saying, everything you're doing, Trace Lona. You can't put this to my and my friends love it. My friends love my wife's accent. I remember the first time I brought up to Saturday Night Live. Tracy Morgan heard my wife speak. This dude lost his mind. He's like, hey, yo, Dean, come here for a second. Come here, come here, come here. Listen, listen, listen. Um... Listen, I, I, was, I was talking to Shorty over there. Is that, is that your lady? I said, yeah, he's like, Yo, for real, yeah, that's sexy. That's exotic. That's exotic. I feel like Captain Kirk is he's a Klingon. How come you ain't tell me she's English? I said, how come you playing with your nipple right now, dude? That ain't my nipple, that's my areolas. And I was trying to figure out why we always so blown away by people from England. It hit me. You know what it is? People from England sound smart. They sound intelligent. Now, I'm not saying they are more intelligent, but be honest, you ever met somebody from England and they start speaking, don't you feel a little dumber about your life? <laughs> you feel with me? They can say, oh, hey, oh, hey, and you're like, no, I turned into SpongeBob, son. Because <laughs> they always have them narrate programs on National Geographic. Right, because they sound like they know that of which they speak. It's gripping television. You sit on the edge of your seat, they're like, now. Now watch. <laughs> watch as the cheetah crawls through the high grass towards the watering hobby. The antelope have no idea what's about to transpire. Are you sitting at home like, oh, it's about to transpire, son? Cause you believe that dude. He ain't gonna believe something. Oh man, I think the antelope should run right now. Die. And I've been traveling a lot, man. I traveled, uh, I was overseas recently, man. And I like flying first class. I ain't going front, I'm spoiled on first class. If you get a chance to fly first class in your life, do it, man. You know, because you ever notice people that sit in first class don't make eye contact with anybody else on the plane? That must get extra bougie, right? You can always tell right before you board, you stand at the edge of the plane, you look around there like, the poor people are out there. <laughs> Then you walk past, you look at them, and they're like, no, don't look at the man here! <laughs> I like to inspire people, man. I'm just, I sit in first class, I make eye contact with every person as they walk by, and y'all, surprise! <laughs> you didn't expect to see me up here, did you? <laughs> hey, what's up, party people? If you enjoy our YouTube videos, you definitely don't want to miss out on our Virtual Chocolate Sundays comedy show. We do it every Sunday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, I'm your host, comedian Ron G, and we also got my man DJ Sidekick on the ones and twos. It's amazing, and you don't want to miss out. For more details, go to the description box and get all the information. Till then, don't block your blessing. We'll see you Sunday.